Today I want to talk to you how to price your music tracks on both Audio Jungle and Pawn 5. On Pawn 5, for example, they give you uh, the minimum price of $15 per track. Uh, on Audio Jungle, they give you a recommended price, but again, it's up to you to decide how much you want to sell your music, okay? This is something that is very uh, personal and some people want to sell it lower, some other people want to sell it uh, a little bit higher. So here we go. Here I'm on Pawn 5 and I want to show you very quickly uh, my uploads. These are my different music tracks and you can see very quickly that I have all of them are at $47.97. I've experimented with different pr uh, price points and I have stick to this one because it's the best selling price for me. And uh, if you notice, all of them are at the same price. And these are all tracks, but I want to show you uh, the edits as well. Some of them don't have edits. But if I keep scrolling down. Okay, I've got some Christmas uh, themes here. 15 second, 30 second, and 60 second. These are just edits, individual edits that you can sell on Pawn 5. And notice that I still have them at $47.97. The same price as the full uh, version. Uh, and like I said, I've experimented with this over time. Another one, 60 second, 15 second, uh, marimba and piano fun is kind of like a commercial music, if you will. 47 quid, all of them. All of my music is the same price, regardless of uh, if there's any edits. Yeah. Uh, a, a thing to consider here is that customers still pay the money for that particular edit. And I want to show you, I have a recent uh, sale here. Uh, which is an edit of 15 uh, second, and you can see that I got uh, in my pocket uh, $30.65. Now the reason why I got that amount is because this is a premium license, okay? So you can see here that this sale was uh, on the 17th of April, and it's a 15 second edit which proves my point that I have many, many videos uh, addressing this issue. Uh, well, not an issue really, but addressing this topic of the customers will, will, they don't have a problem paying for the music. They have a problem finding the right type of music. $47 or $50 for a piece of music, even if it's a 15 second edit, it's a reasonable price. It's a higher end price, but it still is a reasonable price for a royalty free uh, music track. Now, it's up to you to decide if you want to be at the lower end, meaning that it will be cheaper and you will get less money in your pocket as well. Now, this is a, a premium license, which means it's like a bigger license, uh, meaning that it will, you could be used in a, for a bigger audience, if you will. And we'll get to all your jungle in a minute so you can see that. So that license uh, was priced at $47.97, like all of my other tracks, uh, that particular music track. When I get a premium license, that goes all the way to uh, $87.58 and I get in my pocket uh, $30.65, uh, okay? Uh, on Pond 5, I've done a new, well, not new, this has been going on for many months now, uh, a reduction in the percentage of uh, what we compo composers get. So you have to adjust to the change in times and that's one of the reasons why all of my music is at the higher end as well, so I can get more money in my pocket. I want to show you a quick trick here as well if you want to experiment with different price points in Pond 5. Uh, so you don't have to do this individually for every single track. So what you do, when, once you're in Pond 5 in your page where you have all of your tracks uh, that have been already published or they are online, what you do is that you go all the way down here and you will see uh, something that says action, it says submit. All right, when you open that you have different uh, things that you can do in bulk, if you will. So what you do is that you go all the way down here, the last one is set price, okay? You select that, and then you put here the price that you wanna put. So 47, uh, 97, for example, you will press execute, and that will update the price of all these 100 tracks in this particular page in one go. So that's an easy way to do that, to update your your profile, if you will, or your, your prices on all of your catalog in one go. And you can experiment with that. That's an easy way to do it. Uh, on Audio Jungle, I have here uh, another uh, track, which is the same track that I have it on, on, on Pond 5. I tried to put the same price. On Audio Jungle, I cannot put 47.97. 
So, hey, you know, I just put 47 and I have different prices here for different licenses. Uh, here they have a different name. They don't have premium licenses as such. They have a broadcast, which is, I have it for $97. Uh, music uh, or music mass production uh, for 197 And uh, music broadcast, for which is a, a reach of a 10 million, uh, of an audience of 10 million people. That's 297 you can read more about the different licenses in, uh, in the Audio Jungle uh, website how about how much bigger can the license be purchased for uh, depending on the reach on how big the audience is going to be uh, how this license is going to be used for if you will and the music and broadcast film which is the biggest one and I have it for that price now this is me um, th those are my prices uh, if you want to update your item you can update uh, the prices you go there to edit and you get to the part where it says uh, set your price. Now, when you upload your track to Pond to Audio Jungle, you will get to this part, and you will see that it has a, a recommended price of uh, anything between fifteen and twenty dollars for a regular license. I go all the way and double that up to forty-seven dollars. Now, why? Because I want to be at the higher end. I want to be perceived as something that my music is still high, as high quality as the guy next door, but mine has a higher price and is perceived as being more valuable. And I'm not ripping anybody off. This is a, a recommended price even on other libraries as well, like Premium Beats, for example. All of their music is roughly around that price, around the $50 mark. Here in Audio Jungle, it's not Premium Beats, but I, I like to consider my music at that higher end uh, price point, like, like, <laughs> like some of my mentors, okay, uh, which are on Pond5. They, hire, they price their music at a higher point. So the recommended price for a regular license for me is $47 in most of my music on Audio Jungle. Some of my old music tracks in Audio Jungle, they still have the old price, which was like $20 or $30. And I have a few special deals like $14 and even $5, which is really music that I could give it for free, but I have to put a price really. And uh, I just have them there. It's tracks that have been there for years. They're not doing anything. I don't want to delete them. So I just price them very, very cheap, almost like take it. For free that's my my gift to you but anything that is new that goes into my catalog on um, both on pond 5 and audio jungle they go for the higher end price and that's 47 dollars when you click here notice that it says 43 okay that's the item price that's 43 you click here and you will see what i will earn if i sell my music track at that price point so it's 43 dollars but for the person who's uh, purchasing this track is 47 dollars that's what's uh, available for the customer. So it's $47 and I will get in my pocket 19.35. Uh, I'm a non-exclusive author so my, my takes are different. You can see a little bit here different as well how much uh, I am getting the author's fee and this is a really good breakdown when you're pricing your music. So for example if I want to put this music lower let's say I want to put it for $15 like some of you out there this is how much I get six dollars and 75 uh, uh, cents for a piece of music track that you might sell it i'm not saying no but there's no way i am pricing my music to that i'd rather not sell at least in here in this particular website now i've been with audio jungle for years and i have experimented as well with different price points but they too have done a lot of changes when it comes down to pricing and they have uh, introduced uh, elements and vatos element for uh, more than a year now and this has hit the market very badly so we have to uh, adjust and evolve with the marketplace so i always recommend pricing my music or your music at a higher point you can see the recommended prices here but that's not enough that's a recommended price that doesn't mean that you have to price it at that point at, at such a low price 15 dollars it's really really low so because sales fluctuate a lot and they have decreased a lot especially on, on audio jungle I hire, I, I raise my prices, and because I became a non-exclusive author as well, I get uh, less percentage per sale, so I actually have compensated by bringing my prices up. So if the customer sees this track here on Audio Jungle for $47, he's going to find the same price on Pond5 for $47.95, or $47.97, sorry. Uh, where is it? Yeah, $47.97. It's just a little bit more. This is just a, a retail... Uh, uh, tactic when it comes down to uh, $49.99 kind of thing, you know, but it's just something that you have to think about. Your music is a product as well, so you have to be smart about it. And, and, and think about 
that the edit don't need to necessarily be as well very uh, cheaper just because it's a 15 second edit that's why I'm showing you this latest uh, license which is a perfect example and uh, like I said I have shared many times before many uh, uh, licenses of uh, 15 second edit let me see if I have some more here actually so here you see uh, this is what the old price this is before I made the changes this is back in January uh, last year okay um, here can you can see 15 uh, second for $20 I was pricing my music as well at, at $20 uh, and the same thing will go with uh, pretty much everything else so you can see here uh, I started experimenting with different price points here for the 30 second edit and uh, we'll get it for uh, 49.95 you can see different prices here more edits as well you can see here uh, this particular track I experimented pricing it for a hundred dollars a particular track and you can see here the sale and uh, back then I was still getting you will get half of the revenue with Pawn 5 this is in April uh, a year ago this is exactly a year ago and that's why you have to evolve and change with the time so this is another example don't be afraid with experiment with a premium price for a particular track and uh, that's $99 it was sold for $99 and in my pocket I will get uh, 49 uh, and 50 for one sale one track okay now obviously these tracks do not sell every day but it proves the point that it is possible here I have a, a sting for $49.95 okay and uh, again another premium license okay this is uh, last year as well so I have enough data here another sting a sting is a seven second edit uh, $49.95 and I get uh, this amount of money in my pocket uh, and you can see very easily that uh, edits do sell at that price again another sting uh, higher end pricing and the list just goes on 30 second 47.97 uh, another 30 second 47.97 15 second 49.97 now I started to get this is uh, closer to when they did the change and look how uh, it, it dropped from uh, from twenty three ninety nine that I get in my pocket, now I get sixteen seventy nine. That's why it's so important to price your your music at a higher price because you will get more per sale, and it's perceived as having more value. And it does. It's my music, so I want to have more uh, value per sale, and I, I do believe that my music is worth that money that I'm putting there. And uh, you know, it, it's it's just what it is. Anyways, I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope you can see. Uh, the value of your music in a different way and know that just because you're selling something cheaper like your music and you want to price at a very low point that doesn't mean that you're going to be selling more it's a, it's a misconception and this comes from a mentality of, uh, of uh, lack of abundance and, and the fear that something that is cheaper is actually going to sell more it's not okay and even though people are always looking for a shortcut or for something that is a good deal when it comes down to music and when it comes down to creation of, of either a video or a vlog or, or editing for, for media, uh, music has a particular value. And, and, and this is a, a, a price point that is, is, yes, it's at a higher level, at a higher point, price point, but at the same time, it sets you up to a good uh, start or to a good way of earning money when you do make any sales and if sales are low every time you make a sale you still get some money in your pocket because uh, I have experimented with both lower prices and still um, not get any sales uh, or not seen any difference really so as soon as I raise my prices I actually see a difference in uh, in the consumer's mentality when it comes down and they see a, a track like okay why is this track of seven seconds a sting or a 15 second edit why is that price uh why is it 50 dollars or 47.97 you know it must be good and it is damn good it's my music it's my edit and that's the price and that's what the lovely thing about uh, royalty free music is that it's a take it or leave it kind of 
kind of business and it's called stock for that reason is there and if the customer likes it and they see the price they're going to feel attracted to it because it has a, a perceived a value of being a good quality and again it is i do believe 100 percent in my my music to the point to price it like that and actually even higher but i don't go any higher because that's the marketplace so but i position myself in a very good uh, a range where it's not perceived like I'm ripping somebody off. I'm not taking the piss. I am a serious uh, business music composer because this is a business. This is a marketplace. This is not some charity. This is not patron. And this is not something to, hey, check it out and pay the price that you like. This is a marketplace and you have to play according to those rules. So anyways, I hope this video is helpful to you if you're new to music licensing. If you're somebody that is new to music licensing, please download my free guide, link in the description. I also have a free workshop where I teach you how to earn between $500 and $1,000 by selling your music on royalty-free libraries like this ones. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.